Good afternoon people. I'm just going for a uh, local walk. I should be walking you can see through those trees up that hill. Um, yeah, I'm not that keen on this hat. <laughs> but it does come down over my ears. I'm, uh, yeah. I was uh, planning actually on going camping tonight. But Bantford Edge has a forecast of minus three with a fear like factor of minus eight. Now, since I don't have a four season bag, I would be just winging it and um, I'm not an experienced winter camper. So, as game as I am to do different things, I'm erring on the side of caution because basically when it's dark at four o'clock it means they're going to be spending a lot a lot of time in a very tiny tent so I'm just going to do a little local walk that I used to do when I first started walking a couple of years ago uh, I used to just go around the block or go up the hill there and around uh, mainly started walking for health reasons and um, that and a change of what I ate worked out quite well because I dropped four stone still need to drop a couple more but uh, I'm working on that one and uh, I used to not that I never walked before but I wasn't ever that keen on it uh, we used to go out and walk on the moors and things like that occasionally but I think what's really uh, given me the bug is I actually like walking by myself it's great, it's a personal challenge and uh, yeah I have a rather steep hill to walk up soon Well, it's built up on either side, it actually is a copper stream. Joins up there on. Bits of ice on the road. Now the other night, uh, I know someone lives up top of the hill here. They had about, probably about two inches of snow. And we had none. It's only about a mile <laughs> away. Right, and this is where I start to go up. Now, I've got thermal leggings on today, underneath track pants, and uh, a thermal merino uh, top I've got in Aldi which is actually really good and uh, just a fleece body and me nice long padded coat <laughs> I'm already getting warm <laughs> so I got these uh, uh, really super duper heated gloves I like, uh, I like my fingerless gloves but it does get cold, so it has that little finger mitten thing over it, which is quite good. And they're also very warm. So, I haven't walked up here in a long time. Actually, I got tired of it because I was doing the same routes all the time when I started walking either around the roads or up here 
down the local canal and uh, that's when I started uh, branching out wanted to do something different I, first, I think the first things first times I've sort of gone out into my unknown and then I did uh, Penny Grant, one of the three peaks. And then I think over the next couple of months I did the other two. And uh, I was dead police. Conquering Hills. And then uh, obviously I wanted to do more. <laughs> so that's where the long distance walks came in with the camping if I could although I found that's why I did the Yorkshire World's Way because they had campsites and uh, it was all just a, it was an experiment it was a fairly Train wise, it was a very gentle walk, so it was a uh, good practice carrying a heavy pack. Uh, and I did carry it for the whole time, not like Hadrian's Wall, where I ended up shipping it on for a few days, which I'm glad I very did because I shipped it on just before the hills came. I've never done that, that just those distances with a heavy bag on. Right, onwards and upwards. Using an old selfie stick I had that I thought had stopped working. Just putting this here, you can see all the ice on the road. And uh, I just thrown it in the drawer I fished out the other day, plugged it in, and the button worked. And it's been working up till now, and now it won't work. So now I'll have to uh, use my fingers to start and stop it. Which is a pain, which is okay. It's not a problem, it's only if I've got the arm actually extended out. It makes it a pain. I'll have to uh, go to the pound shop and see what they've got there. You can see the water running underneath the ice. Reminds you a bit of the X-Files and that black stuff they used to have. Some tire tracks here. So some of the attempt at driving up here. Now that crunching doesn't freak me out. <laughs> ah, it's ending now. Problem trying to walk around these ice patches. Look, that goddamn brambles overhanging the path. Alright. Ah. Try the left side. Of course I do have some spiky things I can put on the bottom of my shoe. But, uh, you know, if I can get by without putting them on, I will. <laughs> uh, got different sorts. These ones are just wrapped around the ball of your foot. And uh, they're okay for a little while, but they slowly wiggle loose. So that's more of a pain, so you gotta keep stopping and putting them back on. Might get me some decent ones. Then I'm turning out more unknown territories. 
when I used to get to this quarry, I used to stop here to have me a cup of tea. Sit on that stone wall. Now I'll, uh, it's not too much steeper to get up to the top. So I go across the top. There's the fire beacon. A couple of seats there. So I'll stop there. Admire the view and uh, have my cup of tea. I always take a thermos with me, even on short walks. A bit windy here, but it's a bit cold. But there is the town of Halifax, and there's the beacon. We won't be stopping for long, I'll just have a wee bite to eat because I haven't had any lunch. And a cup of tea. I shall move on. Right, if you see that tower behind it, you'll see um, buildings in a square. And um, that's called Peace Hall. And back in the day, when they had mills and that, they used to come there to sell their pieces of cloth. And if you look down there, there's a very old building there, which I don't even know what that is. Sure, that's a church. Yeah, that's a church. Yeah, sorry. Just for the tower. Let's find my finger. My pointer. There. And uh, yeah. Okay. I'm sure I went to a. Pretty sure it's that one actually. Mm. Went to a funeral there. Poor girl got um, killed in a car crash. Must have been awful for a period her mother was driving and slammed into a tree. Very sad indeed. And above that church there, if you go up and see all those cars parked, that's the wool shop. Lots of uh, Marks and Spencers and, and that there. And that building over there, I think, let me just get me bearings. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one. See with the, um, well, big hideous thing that you can stand, see standing out. That's the, uh, well, I don't even know if it's called the Halifax anymore. It's the Halifax uh, headquarters bank. I'm not sure who owns it now. Because it's uh, Lloyd's took over, over some of it, didn't it? Freezing here. Just me tea and then I'm gonna head on home. Glad I didn't go out camping. <laughs> it's meant to be colder than it is now while I'm here. Wouldn't have been nice. Right, 
it. Uh, oh, I got extremely cold sat there. Still feeling cold. Um, so I've decided I'm just um, I should have done the loop walk like I usually do. Just coming straight back the way I went. So that'll probably be it for today. Oh dear me. I think I'm starting to get feeling back in the tips of my fingers. <laughs> Don't know if you, oh yeah you can tell. The sky's starting to turn pink already. It's three o'clock. So I should get home before it's dark anyway. Ooh.